A Norwegian mining firm says it's discovered Europe's largest deposit of rare earth elements in what is the boost for the continent's transition to green technology. Rare Earth Norway says nearly nine tons of rare earth metals have been discovered, eclipsing a major find in neighboring Sweden last year. The minerals are needed for key components of wind turbines, electric vehicles and other green technologies. The majority of global deposits are owned or controlled by China. Nitesh Shah is head of commodities and macroeconomic research at Wisdom Tree Europe. This is a mega discovery. 8.8 uh, .8 million tons of uh, rare earth oxides is huge. Um, the next largest uh, discovery uh, really was in Sweden last year, um, but that was only of uh, just over 1 million uh, metric tons. So this is, you know, at least eight times bigger. And of that eight uh, million uh, tons, at least one million tons of that is suitable for uh, magnet-related uh, rare earth technology. So this is, uh, you know, a huge find. And in the context of the European Union um, trying to develop its own uh, value chain for developing uh, energy transition uh, technologies, so we're talking about the batteries, uh, wind turbines, uh, electric vehicles. Uh, this is really important because the EU has set about a new policy framework called the Critical Raw Materials Act, which uh, requires 10% of the consumption of um, uh, the materials to be sourced from the EU and the European economic area. And obviously, Norway being part of the EEA um, is going to feed into a huge amount of that uh, final consumption. So we're looking at a deposit of nearly 9 million metric tons of total rare earth oxides. So what does it mean for the global shift from fossil fuels? The discovery of this, uh, this deposit um, allows for that transition to become more real. Um, it's all nice having policy frameworks around uh, how much should be shifted away from uh, the burning of fossil fuels towards more uh, renewable sources of energy. But the raw materials needed to make that transition need to be there. And quite importantly, and this will be the next step, is the ability to actually extract it and process it. And that's maybe one area where Europe is really lagging. Um, more than 90% of the um, rare earth uh, processing capabilities really sit in, in China. And if you look at the sort of the landscape as we see it today, uh, the European Union is sort of, and the US is tightening the screws in terms of um, uh, trade with, with China in terms of the, uh, the, the amounts of goods and services uh, or the goods that is importing in from, from China, especially around the energy transition. There have been significant carve outs for the raw materials, including uh, rare earth minerals. Um, but uh, having some discoveries and uh, having uh, the processing capabilities in house in Europe will allow. Um, it to become a little bit more free away from uh, China dependency. And Rare Earths Norway says that it wouldn't start mining until 2030. And you know that 40% of the EU's total rare earth imports were from China in 2022. So do you think the EU is moving to reduce its reliance on China? And do you think that is easy? So the discovery um, helps. Um, it needs to expedite the uh, uh, you know, mining uh, capabilities and um, the uh, processing capabilities. Um, so in answer to your second question, no, it's not really moving fast enough. Uh, 2030 is, you know, only uh, five and a half years away. And to, to get the, to that sort of target level of 10% uh, sourcing from there is going to take, um, a, you know, a Herculean effort. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's nice that these deposits are being found, but um, a lot more needs to be done to speed the process up.